Hello, today's Bible study comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 16 and 17. We're talking about the armor of God and continuing. And verses 16 and 17 read as follows. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Uh-oh. Sounds like I got some things. And it tells you, above all. And this means, in addition to, or with all those other things I gave you, also this. This applies. This is also with the armor. Take the shield of faith. And so far we've been t talking about with the shield, with the fit, with the armor has. So now we're at take the shield of faith, and it's saying, hey, this piece comes along with it. You may not have it wearing like the body armor is, but this goes with it. And when you take it. Take it with you so that you know that it belongs with this armor, okay? The armor is to help you out in those instances. But the shield, the faith, which, which you will be able, uh-oh, see this shield now, because it's not always out present, but the shield, the faith, what does it do? It's able to quench all fiery darts of the wicked one. We know who the wicked one. So what he's telling you right now is your, your faith is a shield. It is a shield and it protects you from what? The fiery darts of the wicked one. That means when... Satan is trying to get at you in any of these actions that go against the Lord, and he is trying to draw you in. Put your shield up, okay? When we doubt, when we have our times of weakness, put your shield up. Because all those things that Satan will be shooting at you and throwing at you and putting in front of you, this shield covers you. And this ain't no little shield. This is the big shield. It couldn't protect all of you. See, it, it didn't say it was a Captain America shield. It's a big shield. If you think of those old African movies where they had the full body shield and they get behind it and it would cover their whole body. Think of this, this shield of faith like that, okay? It protects the whole body. The whole body. And these, these fiery, fiery darts that are being launched, it's an attack on us. And it's an attack all the time. So know that you can put this shield up at any time. It will protect you. So when you, when you see things coming your way, know to put it up. Satan is going to throw them. He is not going to quit throwing them. But what does this shield do? What does faith do? It blocks them. It turns them away from you so they can't harm you. So this shield of faith turns harm away from you. Faith turns harm away from you. See, this the things we have to remember here is that you need that faith. And then it says, and take the helmet of salvation. Now, this helmet is a special helmet because you take it in battle and salvation is, is protecting your head. And it's another major part of the body. We already got the breastplate. Now we're on the, the, the head. You can't go into battle if your head is not protected. And we know 
that there are things that salvation connects to. But this helmet protects you when you want to give up. It protects you when you're tired of doing things. And it gives you the hope that not only shouldn't you give up, but to know that you are saved and to persevere through these things in the hope, salvation, guess what? It's a connection to the hope. So salvation, this helmet, protects us. And it lets you know that the victory is already won. The Lord has already defeated Satan. And when he wants you to doubt and give in and be discouraged, say, no, nah, I'm good. I got it. I got the helmet of salvation on too. I got my shield. So then it says the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Let me tell you something. He already tells you that the word penetrates bone, marrow, ligament, spirit, all of that. So the word is a weapon. Uh-oh. And what is this sword? The word of God. The word of God. So if you decide to go into battle and you have all the other things on, to have the full armor of God, you got to have the word of God. If you want your sword handy, you got to have the word of God. And that means you got to be into the word. Study to show thyself approved. Okay? The Bible needs to be read and looked at. And you must have a true understanding of the Word of God and be confident in it and believe in it and know that every verse that is spoken is truth. But the most important thing about this sword is knowing that it is the word of God which you depend on to help you in these matters. It's your faith that helps you in these matters. It's your dependency on the Lord. That's how you do it. And, and the more you know, the more you learn, the more you use it, the stronger your sword game gets. And we all need a strong sword game. Amen.